It's been moved and seconded to oppose Amendment 69 as a central committee body. Is there discussion? Mr. Rogers, Don Rogers, House District 16, Chairman. <coughs> Um, members of the Central Committee, I ask your support for this resolution to oppose Amendment 69 or a November uh, ballot. I can stand here for 30 minutes and talk about how bad this is for our state and our families, but here are some highlights. Amendment 69 brings a single-payer health control system to Colorado, meaning 100% taxpayer funded, and no, member, no matter how loud the proponents of this scream that it is not, it is 100% government control. Amendment 69 is being sold as an out as a, an opt out of Obamacare when actually it's an opt in for Obamacare on steroids. Amendment 69 will all but double our state uh, budget as proponents admit it will take another $26 billion out of the economy. Our current state budget is approximately $26 billion. Amendment 69 establishes all but an unaccountable 25 member board to administer this explosion in spending. Not the state legislature, which means you lose your voice. The 25-member board can raise taxes without limits, as is, except, as is exempt from Tabor. This board is not subject to any other government agency oversight, and its members are not subject to recall. Amendment 69 will make Colorado the state with the highest tax rate in the nation, beginning at a projected 14.63%. Amendment 69 does not improve our health care, but once put in place, it will severely restrict your choices for your family while driving the cost of health care even past its current unaffordable level. Support this resolution and say no to a massive increase in government control over your life, a massive increase in your family's tax burden, a loss of health care choices to government dictates. Say no to this plan officially endorsed this summer by Bernie Sanders on a campaign stop in Colorado. Say yes to this resolution and no to Amendment 69. Thank you, Mr. Rogers.